We're revealing more secrets inside the kitchen at Veronese, a staple of Louisville's food scene on Frankfurt Avenue. I'm Kevin Harnett, glad to be with you again on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, the show that takes you out to eat behind the scenes of Kentucky's favorite restaurants. Chef John Veronese is always coming up with new ways to tantalize our taste buds, whether it's with his barbecue shrimp and grits or something like this. Oh, we got a hog snapper, which is actually not really a snapper, it's a race fish. And these fish kind of root around on the seafloor, munching up on great shellfish, and they have that kind of nice, sweet, plump flavor, so pork of the sea. The fish is amazing itself. But it's so much better with all John's extras, like the bourbon cherry glaze that goes on top, and his Brussels sprouts butternut squash hash that goes on the side. Oh, that was tremendous. It was awesome. If you want to try something like this at home, you're in luck, because John Veronese is ready to reveal the secrets. Being here in Louisville, the central hub of UPS, we get stuff in from overnight. We talked for our fishmonger in Honolulu at noon at 6 a.m. their time, and they're just getting fish in from the market. And then we have it by noon the next day. And this is actually my hogfish right here. And he's really pretty cool looking. It has some beautiful markings on it. Super white uh, meat to it, and it has a little bit of a pop. So, I mean, this fish is really delicious. Usually you don't see it in these markets because the people that fish for them, they keep them for themselves. When you start with a whole fish like this, first you have to remove the scales. So you just scrape the spoon along the, the scales, it's just kind of releasing them. A good secret here, ask your fishmonger to do this for you. And while you're at it, you might as well get it filleted too. We make a slice up and around its head here, pop it through the tail. Look how pearly white this fish is. I mean, it just, you want to eat this thing off the cutting board here. A really, really pretty fish. Chef Eric has me a nice little hot pan going over here. Salt and pepper season, and we're going to do uh, skin side down on it. So we're going to leave skin on in this presentation. Skin has flavor to it. And also doing skin down, we really want to create a cut crust on this fish. So while we're sauteing up over here, Chef Eric's going to put together our butternut squash hash. The hash begins with bacon and onions. We'll just start that off, render down the bacon. So once the onions start to caramelize, uh, we'll go ahead and just put the uh, diced butternut squash in there. Just taking the squash, we peeled it and we've chopped it up and the squash is so tender that once Eric sautés it, that's all you have to do with it. While that's going on, Chef Eric flash fries Brussels sprouts that he's cut in half. Just step back because they'll start to pop. So the secret to this, and people don't understand at home, we're just caramelizing the outside of this Brussels sprout to add flavor, but we're keeping it still a little tender inside so it has a crunch to it. That's probably about it. Go about 30 seconds with them. Once those are just cooked through, we just put in those fried Brussels sprouts. And a little salt and pepper. About it. And with that, it's about time for Chef John to flip the fish. See where the skin's nice and crispy now. You could really start to see it turn uh, white on the outside, not as translucent anymore. And then we're just going to flip it over and finish this in a pan for about four or five more minutes. Uh, again, you really don't want to overcook that fish, but you do want to cook it through, and it's just going to have a wonderful texture on it. It's also going to have a nice sauce on it. We're doing a, a dry cherry gastrique with this. First, we'll start off with a little bit of vinegar in here, apple cider vinegar. We're going to add a little bit of bourbon and deglaze the pan. You know why we cook with bourbons? Because we like to drink the bourbon while we cook. So that's a, always the important part, or at least my secret. We have uh, some orange glaze. So this is my secret ingredient. It's something that we make, it, we make ourselves in-house. We're going to add some dried cherries uh, to the sauce too. And the bourbons and cherries really play really nicely together. Just going to cook that, let the natural sugars kind of really thicken up. And with that, the fish is done. Golden brown and crispy, the sauce is ready, and so is the butternut squash hash. Oh, the nice Brussels sprouts. Makes me want to have some right now. And again, we're just going to present it with our skin side up, crispiness to it. 
We're gonna finish it off with our cherry bourbon gastrique here. And then we got some, some local radish. The farmers just kind of brought us to the back door that's gonna add that nice little zest and fresh pop to our dish here. Just a little bit of fresh chive. Wow, hog snapper. It really is the pork of the sea. And stick around, because up next, Tim Laird uncovers a hidden gem for brunch in Lexington that's famous for its variety of French toast. We'll be right back with more secrets of bluegrass chefs.